Hey everyone, Digital Factory allows you to configure and modify the ink channels of Epson printers for DTF use. There are default settings for DTF and Epson printers, but in some cases, there may be a need to change your ink to a specific order. In this video, we'll explain how to set up your own ink order for the Epson L1800 and how to use our test page to check the results. For this example, the Epson L1800 will be used, but the process is the same for all printers. The ink order in the printer driver is set as you see it in the printer itself. The order you see from left to right in the ink wizard should reflect the same order you see for your machine when looking at it from the front, with some exceptions for custom built ink systems. When you install the DTF V2 printer driver for your printer, you can manually set the ink order and which channel will print white. With the Epson L1800 as the printer to be used, the V2 driver is installed and two queues are created. L1800 DTF Sheet Mode V2 and L1800 DTF Roll Mode V2. The Set Ink Order function is a queue specific feature, so when you make changes to the ink order of a queue, it will not change the ink order of other queues. To open the queue ink order, select the L1800 DTF Roll Mode V2 queue, go to the queue menu, and select Set Ink Order. The Set Ink Order dialog will open, and colors of the printer ink cartridges appear representing their position in the printer. The default setup keeps CMYK in their original positions and replaces light magenta and light cyan with white 1 and white 2 respectively. The goal is to reorder the inks to CMKY white white, so white 1 and white 2 need to change positions with black and yellow. In the reorder ink cartridges section, click on the drop down that currently shows white 1 and, in the list, select black. You'll see a warning in red just below saying can't select the same ink in more than one slot. Ignore this for now as once you finish reordering the cartridges, it will be resolved. Next, select the drop down that shows white 2 and select yellow from the list. Go to the second last drop down showing black and from the list select white 1. Finally, on the last drop down which shows yellow, select white 2 from the list. The warning message seen before will now disappear. To save time in the future, you can save the order configuration by giving it a name in the field at the top right under Save Configuration. We'll type in My Order and select Save. The configuration is now saved and can be seen in the Use Configuration list to the left. Click OK. Now we want to make sure the new configuration is working. Import the test page by going to Devices and select Quick Test Print. Once the job is loaded, right-click on the job and select Print. Next, import the test page again by going to Devices and select Quick Test Print. Right-click on the job and select Rip Only. When ripping is complete, right-click on the job again and select View Raw Data. Compare this preview with the printout. If the cartridges are in the correct order, the printout and raw data preview should be close to identical. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering digital factory products.